Now, the base model gets trained that way, but then we do have to align it to behave one way or another and just say, you know, I will answer this question, I won't answer this question. Um, and we have this thing called the model spec where we try to say, you know, here's, here are the rules we'd like the model to follow. It may screw up, but you, know, you can at least tell if, if it's doing something you don't like, is that a bug or is that intended? And we have a debate process with the world to get input on that spec. Um, we give people a lot of freedom and customization within that. There are, you know, absolute bounds that we draw, but then there's a default of if you don't say anything, how should the model behave? What should it do? What are, what are, how should it answer moral questions? How should it refuse to do something? What should it do? And this is a really hard problem. Um, you know, that we have a lot of users now and they come from very different life perspectives and what they want. Um, but on the whole, uh, I have been pleasantly surprised with the model's ability to learn and apply a moral framework. But what moral framework? I mean, the sum total of like world literature or philosophy is at war with itself. Like the Marquis de Sade is, you know, like nothing in common with the Gospel of John. Right. So like, how do you decide which is superior? 